Hello! Where the hell are you? Again. We're playing oh. the first ever mod review thing! Yeah! Uh, good, that was brilliant. Mod extravaganza, I think you called it that time. Mod extravaganza, now I'm about to do Oh, what? <laughs> bit... It's good thing I'm wearing my portal <laughs> shoes. I've got to tell you, I'm disappointed. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, yes, Thanks. this is, we're going to be looking at, well, today we're going to be looking at Computer Craft. Uh, developed by Dan200. It's a really cool mod that basically allows you to have terminals that you can program and run things on. In Minecraft, it's fantastic. It's like those redstone, redstone computers Dude. you can see that are built, but like a billion times better and easier <laughs> and for proper programmers. Um, <laughs> although, you know, to be honest, making those things is just fucking nuts. I won't even try and attempt making one of those redstone computers. It's crazy! Anyway, yeah, these oh, are I'll basically all these sort of stuff. We're going to guide you through them. And uh, for mods in the future, from now and onwards, we're going to be yep. in Cobro Village, which is where we are now. Cobro Village! Um, yesterday, nah, nah, nah. I built up a nice building us, modern art, Very nice. the angle. Um, I know it's ugly, but shh. And I built it a bit big, but whatever. And then we've yeah, got um, our yeah, bit, cobblestone the, factory over there, because the we all know. Wonky. Yeah, no, that's modern, modern art, mate. Um, come on, oh! Yeah, but it looks shit if it was just square. No, oh, come cool. on. That's badass. You're just jelly. You're just it jelly. Looks like, it looks like Big Ben. It, it needs more windows. Big, big Ben! It's, it's like Big just like collapsed. You're such a knob. Oh, you mean the uh, leaning tower of Pisa? Apart from it's not yeah. leaning, you tit. So you mean it looks like that, but red, and before it started leaning? Sorry, oh, actually, yeah, I didn't look at that. I was thinking of Big Ben. Oh, okay. Anyway, come on, let's go. So, oh wait, no, I'm going to show you how to build it first. So, first of all, there's three things you can build in this mod at the moment, anyway. What the hell um, are you running off to? I'm doing it over here. <laughs> this is my new uh, workbench area. So, first of all, to build the computer, what you will need is stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of stone. One redstone. In case you're doing this in survival. And a glass pane. You will then have a computer. Also, Hooray! what we can build is a disk drive to take disks. Floppy disk. So if we, I think it's that. Yeah, there we go. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone and two redstone to create a disk drive. And then to make a floppy disk, it's one piece of paper and one glass pane. I've got it the wrong way around, maybe. Oh, it's not glass pane. What am I doing? And one uh, redstone, I think. Yeah, there you go. Floppy disk. You got a floppy. What floppy? So, oh God, no, that's mine. Oh, it's turning night time. We'll just change the time of the day. I hate night time. No, it's a nice... No! The glowstone's lighting up Cobro <laughs> Village. Get rid of it! Buddies will come out. You haven't friggin' put on peaceful. Quick! That's right. Do it! We need to show... Look, so there you go. So you can build that. You can build a disk drive next to it. And then you can build floppy disks. I'll, I'll show you a use for them in a second. But, um, yeah. Bizarre. So that's that. So let's get rid of them for a second. Let's hey. put them up. That's my new Intel i7 computer, and you just... <laughs> yeah, and as you can it. tell, these are all very powerful computers. But yeah, they're running on Lewis Script, so you can do some proper programming in it. You know, real good programming. Uh, I believe you can plug in, like, your own other Lua libraries and stuff. I haven't really tried I'm that. I'm basically just tag along in this episode. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to be showing Wills, basically, along with you. So, yeah. So yeah, this I'm, is, I'm this is sure. the first thing I created. This is quite cool. Uh, this is, like, one of the simplest things you can do, really. Uh, okay. So what you do is, if you've got a terminal like this, you right can see, I've got no way into the house. Uh, yep, you right click on it, and you'll go into a terminal. Craft OS 1.2. We like to enter, yes. Yep. So well, as you can password. see, this is a completely customized screen, and what you can do is if you just create a Chose. startup file doing this. Chose oh, didn't work, that's right? interesting. It looks at the same one at the same time. I didn't realize it did that. I wonder if there's a way around that. What? So what? Because when you typed that, I saw it. But yeah, so the password is awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so awesome. If you have a password correct, <laughs> you, and awesome. you walk through. Oh, wow. There you go, so the door opens Whoa. up for a time of three seconds and it closes itself, obviously. Whoa, you got yourself a little uh, boombox. So yeah, this is, this, is my, this is my lounge, our lounge. <laughs> this is where we watch our painting. We watch our painting. Street Fighter tournament. Yeah. Um, in here, I keep my, my diamonds, my gold and my TNT. What? What? No, no, you get out of there. <laughs> Mine! Oh, I should have put a password protected door on that. I, I'll oh, do that in a yeah, second. Should... <laughs> and then here we go, we've got a boombox. So what you can do oh, as well... Man. Oh, as you can see, I've got custom commands. Let's just start it from startup, so you can see it. From there. <laughs> oh, whoops. It's so awesome. Quit. You type. Yeah, so it's quite cool. I didn't realize you could do that because obviously I've been doing it single player. Okay, so welcome to the user box. So as you can see, I've programmed in my own commands. There is actually a DJ command set, so you can actually play. Um, uh, what are they call no, not note blocks. What are they called, Wills? What are the um, the what? music boxes? You can play the music box if they're left, right. They're Basically, called note, they're not called note blocks. No, not note blocks. Not note blocks. The music boxes. The DJ oh, jukebox. The, jukebox. The jukebox. Yeah. So what you can do 
is you don't have jukeboxes. You put your disc drives, you put the, the um, your discs in them, and they'll play the music. So here I can do this. I can press next. Play your funky music, boy. So I can list, and it gives me a list of all the wow. songs. And then That's I can choose sweet. it to play. So play, uh, let's play, ooh, which one's the good one? Ward, I call it. Is Ward the one I like, or Maul? I can't remember. I don't know. Play Ward. Yeah, like okay. This, one. this is pretty cool. <laughs> do oh. Look at that. Bit morbid, but yeah, yeah so you can do bit that. Morbid, Jesus. Yeah. You can do next to go to the next song. I might have a fucking funeral. Previous to go to the previous. Let's say, let me try. Okay. So what we're doing next? Uh, yep, next to go to the next song. Uh, you can do stop as well to stop the music completely. And then you can quit if you want to stop. Uh, start isn't a command, but you do play, and then a song name will, or just do next. Next will automatically stop. Can you put five? No, that doesn't work. It'll just play no. the first one. I was going to do that, but I didn't get around to it. If you put play. play Ward or or they'll play Maul. Eleven will work, yeah. Eleven is a real It is it's a song name, exactly. It's not even a song. No, it's weird, isn't it? It's, it's like um... someone's gonna get bummed. I'm gonna bum you into next week. It's me. Ah. I'm running across the desert. There's no place for food. Yeah, don't There's no that. water. No yeah, civilization. Anyway, there is um a oh, there okay. is um a standard one for that. So if I go in here, I've got a code to bypass my own system, so if you just use that, you go into the actual wow. core of it. And in here, you can have a look at all the different help, you've got different programs, so you've got adventure, which is a text adventure, aliases if you want to create aliases, no, not cheesies, anything. <laughs> um, and, and you can do all sorts, so you can edit your own That's code. Awesome. You've got red, so basically you can trigger redstone at the back, left, right, front, top, and bottom. Yeah, was I forget how to do top and bottom. So. <laughs> You can so, actually do different things. You can do like red pulse, we'll send pulses. You've got red ah. um, stone, and red, well, red set. You use redstone or RS when you're coding. Let's and, say if um, someone's trying to break it. Say you've got this mod plugged in onto your server. Yeah. You're trying to break in. You can see like all their failed attempts, or they guess that you would make your password. Oh, you could do if you logged it all, yeah, because you can um, write to files. So, you know, this oh, allows wow. you to write to files, so you could do that and say, you know, Thingy. I don't know if you can get the person's name that's trying to access. That'll be good. I'm not sure if that's that possible. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, you can do all sorts here. Um, the default um, for DJing is DJ, and DJ does exactly what I just programmed to do. I just made a more textual interface for different things. But look. it's the same sort of thing. So instead of saying his song name, I say left, and it plays the left. Oh, sorry, DJ play left. Very DJ play right, and it will play the sound box I've got to the that left and the right cool. of them. Yeah. I got DJ stop. <laughs> yeah. uh, shut down my jukebox. Cool. So that's yeah, so that's cool. Your first example. So that's my first example. Um, we've got some flaws here that I haven't really done anything on. Uh. <laughs> yep. So there's absolutely nothing on these yet. These will be future things, hopefully. <laughs> Mods. <laughs> Here's Wills' room. Ooh. As well as his computer. That's well, my, my computer. Uh, there is, I've seen it, I don't know how to do it, but there's one way you can do this thing called power net. I think can you get power cables, or red cables, I can't remember what they're called. Um, power net. It, I think it says here, um, what's it, APIs. But it's your room. <laughs> red net. So you've got <laughs> red lame. net. What are you talking about? I've got a big window. Where's my big, oh, big window? Pretty lame now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> hey, but yeah, you've got red net. And you, you can get top do, floor, like, it's not cool. Yeah, I want a top no, bunk. No. And you can do cool things in RedNet, like um, talk over oh, and stuff. But it's really cool. So I, I really enjoy this. And you, oh, also, this oh, I'll tell, I'll explain that in a minute. But another cool thing you've got here is you've got Worm. So, so look. Can I watch you play? Oh, yeah, I can watch you so, play. Yeah. So if I go on hard, let's go hard. Whoa. <laughs> so here you go. S. I'm a big long S. Well, because it's all text based, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, so oh. someone, I don't know who, <laughs> but they've added Worm into this. I don't know if Dan is it or if someone else programs it. Nate, not called Worm. Snake, sorry. Yeah, it's called Worm in this. Copyright, oh, is I'm it? sure. Yeah. Is it? yeah, it's got an S, though. It should be... Snake. It should be a Dewey, surely, yeah. Well, does it like that better? Because it's his name. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you can play Snake here. Um, you've also got do Adventure. Get... Do you have to get... Oh, my, you suck at this. I was messing around, so I was talking. I'd, I'd get these, okay. like, pro. Look at this. Boosh! Do you have to get to the, the end of wow. the alphabet? I don't think so. I think Oi. that you just keep going until you, you hit your tail. Kill myself, okay. There you go. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's cool. So that's cool. Um, that so cool. you can do all sorts. You've got a text adventure as well that I think based on Minecraft. I haven't played that, but it was pretty cool. So that's that. And now I'm going to go and show you my cobblestone generator. This is another use I've done for it. I'm sure there's loads of use I just couldn't call up. A lot of them are kind of like switches, to be honest. But you can actually, <laughs> you can actually write programs in it, which is cool. So you could, if you wanted to, I was going to, but I didn't really have the time. I was going to write Pac-Man yesterday. I think that'd be cool. 
Because you could do Pac-Man. Yeah, right, Pac-Man. Have you took my TNT? Douche. Anyway. <laughs> what? So it was here, prayer. This is the, um, the cobblestone factory. Would you like to enter? Or would you, please? Oh, here we are. So, my password for this one... The only thing is that I can watch... I can literally watch... Yeah, I know. So, yeah, you there you go. Though. So, money blocks. In we go. Make sure... Get away! <laughs> make sure nobody's <laughs> watching you type in your password while yeah. doing it. So, you see here, I've got a disk drive. Whoa, floppy! Have you actually put a floppy disk in there yet? Uh, no, but if, yeah, so basically you can copy files with floppy disks. So, if I wanted to copy this piece of software... Copy it onto floppy disk and go store it somewhere in case this gets killed by someone else. Or if ah, I keep falling. So if I can use it for backup, I can use it for copying my code and uh, but on other computers. So I did that with the password protection one. That's, so that's really cool. cool. So this one, this one is actually wheels. Can you just break these? These two here. Break what? These two. Yeah. So as you can see, this one's actually triggering redstone, Jesus. and you'll see that what we've done. Because what you can do is really cool. You've got this um, API called Parallel. That means that you can run things asynchronously, so you can run them at the same time. It's really cool, I know, so geeky, but it's so cool. Uh, yeah, so here you go, so... Like, what are you talking about? I've got to start, that starts it, and that's sending pulses along the redstone. And now, oh, yeah. I have... Oh, damn, I haven't got a pickaxe. Well, give me a diamond pickaxe, or get one yourself, would you please? Okay. Where are you? How'd you go I'm down here. there? Hey. But, um, you took my yeah, gold got... as well! You asshole. I've got a pickaxe right here, look, see? Okay, yeah, just, so you see, do it with all of them. So all three of these are generating me cobblestone. And because of this nice little program, I can keep that running while I destroy them. And if I ever wanted to stop it, just because, you know, I want to go home. Just say stop, and as you can see, it will now Bang. stop doing it. And it's done. You can also check the status. So you can check it's currently inactive. And you can quit, obviously. So, yeah, that's another example of what you can do with it. And that's using some redstone. So you can trigger redstone from the back, the left of it. So it would be on this block if we had one here. And on the right of it, so where the hard drive is, below it, above it, in front of it, <gasps> and behind it. So it's pretty cool what you can do with this. Save your programs, write your code. And yeah, it's, so it's, pretty cool. it's awesome, yeah. And you know, with RedNet, it actually, oh, don't, I haven't used it, but with RedNet, it adds um, LAN stuff to it. So, if what I was going to do, but I didn't get around to it, was you can have, so like the computer in your room, Wills, in your room in here, mm -hmm. and mine, what we can do is we can have it talk to each other, so then you can have, like, multiplayer games and stuff, I guess. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you can send and receive messages, so it means you can make multiplayer, so multiplayer snake or multiplayer pac I don't know, you Pong, Zebra. you can do Pong against each Wait, other. Wait, so could you make it so... Like one computer on the from could like, talk to another exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so yeah. So messenger. someone's done that. Someone's done that. Yeah. Someone made an IRC client. So that I thought that cool. was really cool. So yeah. So that's pretty much the well, not the extent, but yeah, you can do pretty much anything with this. You know, it's coding. You can go and code in game, which is really freaking awesome. And you know, I'm sure as it goes along, this is going to get more and more APIs and that sort of thing. So you'll be able to do more and more with it. But yeah, that's just a basic showing of it. But yeah, pretty cool, Woo! right? So yeah, so as we watch the sunset. Um, anyway, yeah, we can start giving these things ratings. We're going to give them a rating on a fun factor. Fun factor. Yeah, so, obviously because we don't rate based on awesomeosity, we just based on, well, we don't rate it on like... This wasn't yet from two different views, a programmer yeah. and a non-programmer. Exactly, yes, yeah, so this is a two viewed one, because I'm a programmer and Will's isn't. I so, would most likely say so that if this? people release tutorials how to do certain things, Oh yeah, there are amazing. some. I saw some tutorials. Oh, there are, there are some tutorials on if stuff. If I can't code, then I'm, I'm yeah. I think what it, I think I don't know if this is done as well, but think, it'd be good if I think people might. I don't know about this, but they might release like their own things because all you have to do is if you put it in the right directory, if you put it in the programs directory for this mod, then you can actually just run it as a program. So people could write them and then just give you to download. Yeah. So that's possible. So that's cool. But yeah, it's, so... it's pretty cool that you can save it onto a floppy disk, because then you can like, when you save your map, you can yeah. it save the inventory, and then you get you have the floppy disk, and then you can put it on a computer, and then you can load their code. Yeah, exactly. I think. And, and put all they can put in a chest or something that you can get. Exactly, yeah, so you can share each other. So say I built a, well, my password thing. 
I could give that to you for your house if you built one like yeah. that house. Then you could just get it off floppy disk, copy it onto your computer, good, and endless use it. Ability. It is. It's fantastic. I think that was added in the newest version. Cause I think this is 1.2 at the moment. 1.2. Yeah, 1.2. What Minecraft version is 1.1. No, no, Minecraft. No, the mod version is 1.2. Oh, yeah. But, um, but yeah, so th that's uh, basically this. I'm going to give it because I'm a programmer. I think this is friggin' fantastic, and it adds unlimited possibilities as long as you know more APIs get implemented and stuff. Oh, if I'm, or if you can figure out how to, I just don't know how to. Um, I'm going to give this a rating of. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 crowns for fun factor because I think you can make so much in this. I'll give it a 8.5 as I'm not an experienced <laughs> developer. I suppose, programmer. I suppose this is it's, it's better for people who can program, obviously. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's a nine overall. You know, it's really, it's really original, really useful if you know what you're doing and stuff. So yeah, so that's uh, nine out of ten crowns for Computer Whoa! Craft by Dan Two Hundred. As always, a link will be. Hey, hey, zombie! Uh, <laughs> I'm going this Sup, way. Zombie. Uh, a link in the description. Welcome um, to Cobro Village. Cobro Village. Subscribe for more mod stuff, Minecraft stuff, Portal stuff. You know, we do all that sort of stuff. We do custom stuff. Yeah, custom stuff basically. Subscribe for custom stuff, or if you have any indie games or custom things you want us to check out, you know, send us a message. You want to have a look at it. Um, we oh, won't necessarily cool. get back to you because we're terrible at replying, but we will read it 100% because it goes yeah. to our emails. True. So yeah, um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later.